Okay, I had got a roll of 80-20 ground beef and uh, I made 18 burger patties here. Sometimes I get 20 out, but I guess it's just really according to how big I make them. Fix and put these, season these up and put them on the smoker. And I'll put them in there and Paul can take them for his lunches. I'll put them in the freezer. And the rest of that pack of roll of burger went here because I'm going to make some uh, chili. So I'm browning some burger. And then I'll drain the grease off of it. I don't like greasy chili. It hurts our bellies. So always fix it in a separate pan. And then I'll get it. Drain that grease off of it. A little chopper. It's great if you don't have one. Need one. I've got one onion chopped up here. It's a super sweet onion. Uh, I'm going to chop up probably two or three more because I'm making a big batch. That way I can can some of it or put it in freezer bowls with the lid for Paul to take for work. So, anyhow, I'll get some more onions chopped up. And I chop them kind of, if you'll notice there, I chop them up pretty chunky because as they cook down, you don't want it to just be nothing in there. You want to have it just a little bitty tender bite of some. That steam's coming out of there, so you can't see the pretty color, but anyhow, I'm going to add some more onions to it. I added that one to it. I'll get a couple more cut up. I also put uh, tomato sauce in there, some garbanzo beans. I don't always put garbanzo beans. I should add whatever I feel like that day. And uh, I always put kidney beans in my chili, though, and great northern beans and pinto beans and chili beans. Just a combination of beans. And I'll add that burger in a minute. And I have some diced jalapenos in it. Uh, the Mount Olive ones, they're not very hot. Some pepper, salt, some paprika, and just some chili seasoning in it. I was going to show you all. I always get one of these just little snack bowls and sit here with a plastic spoon. And I use my spoon that I'm going to uh, spoon my chili out with and put it in this bowl. And taste test it to make sure I got enough seasoning in it. Because sometimes you got to add something two or three times. And you're not dipping it. I never dip a spoon or back in there after it's been in my mouth or anything. So the little snack bowls in a disposable spoon is will sit here until it's done and seasoned the way I want it to be. Yeah. Handy dandy little trick. I've also got some cilantro in there and onion powder and just whatever you like to put in your chili. It's just personal preference. And I've got a bunch of crackers. We'll either eat that or we like cornbread with ours too. And maybe some shredded cheese and some sour cream. You can fix it however you want to. Some diced up green onions. Alright, as you can see here, my meat's brown. So I'll drain the grease off of it and add it to my chili. Yeah, as you can see, even with it being 80-20, there's a quite a bit of grease there that we don't need in our belly, so I just drain it. I've added it over here, and I'm just about to mix it in here. So steamy, you can't hardly see it. We like meaty chili, so... It mixed in good there. Especially since I'm mixing it, it's as that settles down some, you'll see how pretty it is with all that in there. And like I said, I'm about to cut up. Two or three more onions and put in it, I'll see, depending on how big my onions are. There, a little bit of that steam is gone now. I got some meat tenderizer, some black pepper, <clears throat> and some paprika on it. I won't salt it. I've got an unseasoned uh, meat tenderizer, but it basically, I mean, it, it adds the salt. And... Here's these here. Fix them to go on the smoker. They'll get the, they don't need a lot of seasoning because they'll get the 
smoke season off that grill or whatever kind of, or the smoker, whatever kind of uh, pellets we use or wood that we use, cherry wood or uh, competition blend or whatever we choose. Alrighty, I added two more onions, so three large onions, what I end up putting in it. And uh, like I said, this is a uh, probably 20 quart stock pot and it's a little over halfway full so like I said I'll have plenty to put in some freezer bowls or to can up so that they can just open it out of a jar whenever they're ready to have chili I do that a lot instead of buying chili sometimes we'll buy it if we're out but anyhow I'm gonna let it cook on low for a little while with the lid on there and go get some chores done and like I said the Burgers are on the smoker, and we'll keep checking on them and come back in and checking on these. And I'll get some critters took care of and fed and watered and eggs gathered and all that good stuff while it's cooking. We appreciate y'all joining us today. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, we'd appreciate you subscribing. If you're already a subscriber, we appreciate you. It's totally free to subscribe. Share and like our videos, uh, that helps uh, grow our channel. Sharing it, you know, gets it on out there. We'd like to see our numbers grow and just have you all along. We appreciate y'all. Here's the burgers on the smoker. I'm going to have to turn them in a little bit, but they're doing good. Here's Miss Dorothy. My mom always teased her hair and she had a poof on top, so Miss Dorothy looks like her. But mom liked the Polish hens, but she liked the ones that had a little more poof than that. But we love Miss Dorothy anyhow. Everybody's waiting for me. <laughs> and she's griping about it. This is what took you so long. Well, I was trying to get food for uh, Papa Bear, too, you know. You guys aren't the only ones that eat around here. It can't always be about you. You guys are most generally always first. And today, I needed to get some meal prep done for Paul's lunches and some for dinner. I'm not sure what kind this one is. She's probably just a mix. But she's beautiful. I love her. These two girls are happy to be reunited. As you can see, Tilly's eye is much better. Maybe she'll let me zoom in on it there. See? No cloudy eye anymore. See all them baby pigs? They're down here with everybody else now. They think they're just as big as everybody else. You know I get easily distracted, but I just think that these turnip flowers are so pretty. I had to come over here and show you again. Did I mention we got part of the garden tilled up? Yeah. We're going to get there, folks. Yeah, I just think those are beautiful. And through this fence, too. Purple top turnip flowers. What y'all doing today, huh? What's everybody doing? Oh, now, Tatum. Tatum, she can be a little bit ornery sometimes. She's a little... She's the little bully at times. And Sergeant, as you see the other day, he about knocked Paul out, jarred his teeth. Yeah. Would you just look at that cuteness overload there? I think the taller one back there. I think he's my male. Um, I've been collecting eggs. I think I have like seven or eight now. I'm going to try to hatch them. I hope they're fertile. Because they're young. It's their first time layers. I just love them. Anyhow, I was going to say, I have 20 more baby chicks coming. We're about to move this portable pen to where they have some grass. Anyhow, they're adorable. Can you imagine 20 more of them in here? And me hatching out 
probably eight or ten more than myself, my own. Yep, I love them. It's so windy out here, I don't know how good the sound's gonna be. Anyhow, I've been teaching these little baby goats to eat some show goat. And Mama's helping them out there, too. She thinks she gotta eat part of theirs, too, before she goes in there and tackles hers. I showed y'all the other day, she's got a hay manger here, and it holds her show go down there and her hay right here. And the hen says, if she don't hurry up and get in here, I'm going to eat her food. She heard me. She wanted to make sure she didn't get her groceries. She likes to eat. <laughs> that light's shining in on her side there. It looks like a stripe. This is her a good girl, ain't you? Yep, that's Phoenix. <coughs> She's our milk goat. The baby's keeping her milk down good now. At first, we just have to milk her too and get about a half gallon a day. Now they're chowing down and keeping it pretty subtle. They were blowing out. She's a good girl. Now we got the three that'll be our milk goats. Actually four with whenever Serenity gets old enough. Tilly and Tatum and uh, Phoenix are our older milking girls. And that one right there, that's a little girl. That's Serenity. She'll be a future milk goat as well. And there is her, I start to say brother, little brother, but ain't little brother. He's big. He was a lot bigger than her at birth. Anyhow, his name's Gabriel, and we're gonna breed him to Tilly and Tatum at, at a late, later date when he's old enough. Here's one of our lavender hens in the nest. I need to clean the nest out and put some new bedding in them. Yeah, some eggs. 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 Eggs, eggs, some more eggs, eggs, and finally the last eggs. I built these nests several years ago and there's five on each side and so that's ten nests, two rows, one on each side of the chicken house here. Here's all the beautiful chuckars. I love to hear them. They're so sweet. Oh, that's the hen turkey. She was the one responsible for all that noise. You know, Kane's got to get in the picture. They're so sweet. He's going to get after this rooster here that's going to try to get that food. Anyhow, this is Jace. He's just an old mix lab. Uh, we got him from Big Daddy. That's my father-in-law. that's passed on. He's went on to glory. Anyhow, Jace is old. As you can see, he's laying down eating, so... He's got arthritis and in pretty bad shape, just like Oak is. We're going to miss him when he's gone. And the kitty cat, you know, everybody's got the life of leisure around here. But I have to say, they don't always have a life of leisure. We feed them cat food every day. 
But there's some mousers too. They feed themselves, their babies. Oh, you hear Jace? He's getting after one of the tur chickens or turkeys. One, they try to get his food. They like that dog food. What can I show you here? This is an everyday occurrence. And the rooster knows what's going to happen even, and he'll still risk his head to try to get his food. And mind you, they just ate. They just ate their chicken food. Because I always feed them first, so they'll be over there eating. But no, somebody's always got to come over here and try to get deca decapitated. I don't know if him ever technically decapitating any of them, but they sure do like to risk it by getting over there because it could happen he might decide to one day he's getting old and crabby usually he just warns them here's my old chicken boots they're dirty some of our maters they get these planted That wind's just a-blowing. The orange tree's looking a little rough, but it'll come out of it. So is my olive tree. It really doesn't have anything on it. I hope it really comes out of it. Here's all of our plastic. I know it's going to be... It's only 3, like 3.5 mil. May have to put two sheets of it up, but it'll, it'll be alright for right now. We're going to get some uh, clear uh, roofing to put on top of this building, too. It's got metal roofing on it right now. Got my onions drying out there. They was a little bit moist on the bottom, so I didn't want to plant them until they dry out a little. Yeah, I've got some sweet red ones and some super sweets there. So i got to break the dirt up here, work it up, and plant those. That's uh, a cabbage. Cabbage. Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Cauliflower. Cauliflower. And broccoli. But you're out here for work, and I'm going to fix up a little potting bench, but for right now, I just flip one of those kennels over. That'll just have to do at the moment. We're trying these grow bags this year. I told you that a couple days ago, but uh, I hope they work out well. I like them. Should I give you out there while we're here? Okay, I'll show you. I'm thinking about putting plastic on the inside and outside of this. Paul thought that the critters would claw it up on the outside. I really don't think they'll bother it because we put tents, or I mean, not tents. We put tarps around things and they don't seem to bother them. I just think since it's just three mil, but that'd be smart. I'm going to repot that plant that's from last year. Getting a pretty good start on the garden. Using this little table for out here to pot. Uh, Paul was using that chair. I'm missing him. Last couple days here. I like it better when he's here with me doing stuff. He likes it better too. See them chickens down there? They out free ranging. Well, my chili's done. I cooked it on low. So those uh, onions were tender and so we'll have chili for dinner. I might make a pan of cornbread here in a minute. I'll call Paul and see if he's wanting some cornbread with it tonight or if he just feels like crackers. Also have some smoked burgers if he wants one of those as well. But I'm doing those for his uh, meal prep for work. He's got an air fryer there, and he can just warm them up. They're like brand new. You see who else is there? Supervisor's out today. Yeah, he's making sure I do everything right. Oh, looky here. 
you get the baby tractor and the big tractor all in one view. Hey there. The little goatee figured out it's time to eat. She's about to miss her groceries. Watch her go. Just like, is there anything left? Go, Goldie, go. Go get you some food, baby. Looks like a mess here right this moment, but after it's cleaned up, it's a good little cooking area. A little bench. Look right here. My clematis vines are coming up. Can't wait to see them bloomed out. I have whites, purples, variegated pinks. Got some banana bushes coming up here. Look at this beautiful hedge here. Isn't that pretty? Look at all these strawberry blooms. Probably see my reflection too. I forgot to show y'all I made some uh, pickled eggs. I've got another quart of them too. Also, this container up here is full of filled boiled eggs. This whole container is boiled eggs that I'm going to uh, make deviled eggs out of. I steamed 140 eggs yesterday for this. Okay guys, the chili's done and the burgers on the smoker is about done. Been a successful day. You may hear the air conditioner running in the back. I'm sorry, we don't have central air and heat, and we've been out doing chores, and I'm exhausted and hot, so I hope it's not too loud. All right, the burgers are done. They look scrumptious. Paul will love them. He likes to take them and warm them up in his air fryer at work, and... We've got chili done, and the burgers done, and two gallons of tea done. We should too today. Got chores done, and everything fed and watered. I just want to show you that smoke ring on that. Yummo. Some good looking burgers. Yep, they're fantabulous looking. Get those grill marks, that pink smoke. We're gonna have us some good eatings, folks. 